What you guys got another video here for you on how to place your taskbar anywhere on Windows 11 24H2. Now we're running the very latest version of Windows 11 and there's been a lot of talk about Microsoft clamping down on certain programs that you use on Windows 11 24H2 and some people want to be able to move their taskbar and some of the old methods of doing it never worked. They stopped working once Windows 11 24H2 was released. I'm happy to say that Start All Back is now working on Windows 11 24H2 and you can use it to move your taskbar anywhere you like on the screen, whether it be on the left, on the right or on the top, or you can leave it on the bottom. It's more than that, it actually changes your start menu. It's not free, but it does only cost $4.99. But you do get a 30 day trial. So what we're gonna do is install it on the system and I'll show you basically how you can use it to move your taskbar around and also change your start menu. So let's go ahead and get this installed for everyone. It will then fire up like this. And now you can choose what menu you want to use, proper 11, kind of 10 or remastered 7. So you can choose whichever one you like here. So this is kind of 10 and then you've also got remastered 7. I'm going to leave it on uh, proper 11 here. But if you go over to the taskbar section, use enhanced classic uh, taskbar, toggle that on. And now this will give you a bunch of options which you can use to change. Now, before you change your taskbar, make sure that you turn off any widgets inside Windows 11. So go to settings, personalization, go down to taskbar here and make sure the widget section is turned off because this can really cause a lot of problems with the taskbar being on the left or the right or on the top especially if you have widgets enabled and that's the reason why microsoft blocked you from using your uh, taskbar on the left or on the right it's because they wanted you force you to use their widgets which a lot of people don't want so once that's disabled go back into start all back configuration and put it on the left you might see it go invisible here that's because you need to restart your explorer here by clicking on restart now and there we go, we have our taskbar on the left-hand side and you can use it on your left-hand side just like this as well if you wanted to leave it there. I know a lot of people use it on the left-hand side. Just remember to disable the widgets and it should work perfectly fine on the left-hand side. If you want to put it on the right, you can do here and you just toggle it over to the right-hand side and away you go. You can have it on the right. If you want it on the top of the screen, also you can move it to the top and sometimes some people like to have it on the top like this. I know a lot of people that have been using it this way for many, many years were very disappointed that they couldn't use their taskbar on the top or left or right uh, when they've been using it that way for many years. You can change the dynamic transparency of it as well and go into it that way and make it uh, translucent if you want to. Uh, also, what you can do here is change the start button. You can put it into segments if you want to and have it in just small segments here. And you can also centralize the actual uh, task icons here and have them in the center uh, while it's on top if you want to do that as well. Also, you can change the uh, start button here. There's some other settings here which you can uh, change. But if you want to change the start button, you can just go ahead and change those here like that. Very simple and easy to do. Also, you've got the visual styling as well and you also have your icon size. So let's go ahead and put that onto the left-hand side here and show you what it looks like on there as well. And I'll hide the desktop icons because that's probably the best way to have this set up if you want to have it. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it uh, uncentered here and have it up the top like so. Now we've got that there, let's take a look at some other customizations that you can do with this application, like changing the actual visual style. So if you wanna do that, you can do by changing the visual style right here and it will change the style of the actual taskbar like so and uh, you can use whatever sort of flavor you like there there's also uh, these right here which is your icon size so if you need to have a bigger icon size you can do and change those right here by changing it and it will make the actual taskbar wider and fatter just like you see here so that can be changed and also the icon margin can be changed as well if you want a bit more of a space in between your icons you just change this right here and it will change it like that very simple and easy to do so that is the actual visual style and also icon size and you've got your other little drop down area here which is always hide 
labels and you've got never or you can say when taskbar is full you can do that as well and set that up so that's now that done if you're looking to change the actual color of the taskbar you can do that as well there's also some other settings inside here you can mess around with like inside the advanced area you can see the customized appearance so you can change those by putting the check marks in here and this will allow you to change the custom taskbar coloring by using the slider will change the transparency of that color as well so you can just hit this little color droplet here and just change it to whatever color you like let's put some vivid color on here so you can actually see what it actually does so obviously you're not going to use something as blue as that but it'll just give you an idea of what you're doing here by changing uh, the transparency and the color there so if you want to change the start menu color you would just obviously change that and let's give it another vivid color so you can actually see and there you go we've now got two different colors uh, like that and you would obviously choose a much more pleasant color than what i'm doing right here to choose your theme and your color scheme of your desktop and that's basically how you would change the coloring of your taskbar and start menu and you can put gradients on there as well and things like that so that's basically how you can change your colors and you can change them to whatever color scheme you like and you can even have, have it with that transparency so it's just sort of translucent as well so i like the gray sort of look as well where you can get like a translucent gray look that looks quite nice but that's basically how you can change your colors right here and also there's some other settings in here which i'm not going to cover too much because this one was really about moving the taskbar around the screen so that's basically how you would go about changing your taskbar the colors and also the actual icon there for the start menu button now of course there's tons of programs out there that will allow you to move or change color of your taskbar and start menu or even change the start menu to something totally different if you don't like windows 11 start menu then obviously these programs are going to be good for that now again you don't have to have it on the left top or the right you can have it on the bottom if you want to keep it as a standard uh, way of doing things and have it on the left hand side on the bottom if you wish to make it look like your normal uh, windows install for older versions of windows you can do that as well and there's tons of programs out there that will do this for you some of them are free if you want to see some free alternatives or even uh, other options then let me know and i'll put a whole video together of different programs you can use to do exactly that and some of these will be obviously free as well so let me know if you want to see that video if i get a good response for you in the comment section i'll make that video for you if not then I know you're not interested in that particular type of content. Other than that, that is going to be about it. So that is basically Start All Back, which you can now use again, which unfortunately was blocked by Microsoft for some time. I think he's registered the program now, obviously, and now they're allowing you to use it. And uh, so, yeah, I'll leave all the information in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you all have a lovely weekend. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. If you fancy a chat, I'll be on the Discord server. If not, I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.